CLIO, Content Language Integrated Learning. Content. The content for a CLIO lesson is based on making use of different subjects that we get in schools. Language. Language can be learned through different activities such as reading, writing, speaking, or acting it out, such as dramas. Here, making use of senses are very important because if we can incorporate more than one sense into a lesson, the retaining of newly gained information will be longer. Integrated. How do we integrate school subjects such as physical exercise, social science, natural science into an English lesson? Firstly, go look at the different topics we find in these subjects. Choose a topic such as sport. How can I change sport into a language lesson? First of all, I will start with the different types of sport. Students will then be taught the different types. From there, you can take the sport lesson and change it into an art lesson. How do you do that? Well, to change it into an art lesson, we can go look at the different types of clothing sportsmen wear for the specific sport and students can design their own clothing for the sport they choose or we can go look at who attends sporting events spectators and cheerleaders students can then create their own cheer for the sport or a song related to the sport. Then the sporting lesson can also be changed into a natural science lesson. How do we do that? Well, we can go look at what types of sport do we do on land? What types of sport do we do in water? Then after distinguishing which sport we do on land and which sports we do in water, from there we can go into how to preserve water, water pollution, creatures living in water. So your opportunities are endless. Learning. Prior knowledge is of utmost importance. We cannot bolt or scaffold new information if the student does not have fundamentals or basics understanding of the concepts or ideas of the lesson being taught here is an example of my sports lesson in the lesson i have added various different topics such as days of the week months date and the weather which is basics for daily conversation I also ask the students to express their feelings and straying away from the common answer, I'm fine. Then, testing prior knowledge, I ask the students about different sports and also seeing if they know which sports are popular or famous from different countries. The countries can then be used in a future lesson for social science, such as finding the country on a world map trying to find out more about a specific culture or sharing traveling experiences to different countries. Then I express my personal experiences of which sports I prefer or like. Then the students can reply in sharing their experiences. Underlying, they are still learning new sport vocabulary. Making it more relevant, I bring it back to Taiwan asking what sport do we find here then sticking to some basic dialogue asking if the child can do the specific sport or not they are still reviewing without knowing 
the newly gained sports vocabulary. Other activities such as miming, crossword puzzles, matching, and finding the odd one out are activities that I use to review and to ensure that the newly gained information will be retained for a longer period of time. The students don't realize this as they are having fun and enjoying the lesson. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that it is insightful for your future planning of a CLIL lesson. Please like and share this video.